Welcome to Beer Disciples. I am the Ross Quintana. I'm Richard Callahan. Super Code Edition. Today we're doing the uh, second edition of the uh, Ovila from Sierra Nevada. I have had the pleasure of having the first edition a few times. I love it. The Avila Double. This is the Avila Saison. This is the first time Ross has had one of the Avilas. Um, the backstory in Avila, as Ross gets poor on, is the uh, Avila Abbey, where they brew this, is uh, they basically uh, deconstructed it brick by brick from Belgium, and they, uh, they rebuilt it in California. And then in this Belgium imported abbey they brewed this series of avila beers and this is the second in the series is it my special socks i've had since high school don't know what that means (laughs) i'm gonna get a pour on here is it is it the bricks that made the beer (laughs) did they impart the the special flavor or is it historical we will see sierra nevada there's a whole story behind it so anyway, let's get into a saison. Ross, you've only had one saison, I think, from uh, Sam Adams. Yeah. No, so I thought we no, we had the uh, hennepin. Oh, the hennepin. Yeah, that was a big letdown. Oh my god. Let's. Uh, I it was alright. You did. I didn't. Let's see what uh, Ovila has to offer in the smell. All right. We got those fruity esters. It smells spicy. It smells like that farmhouse open fermented. Our top fermented yeast. And I get too much head again. Uh, it smells like uh, Keller Rice. Yeah, a little bit. Not? A little bit like Keller Rice, yeah. I get that. And then on the label, we could just write banana, clove, and everything that's not in the glass. <laughs> I'm not getting those as much, though. Like with the Keller Rice, I did get those. This is this is very, it's, it's together. It's not as... It's very similar, yeah. It's not as disjointed as, as Keller Rice was. This is... Yeah, Keller Rice was more yeasty than this. I guess it is a similar too, isn't it? Yeah. Did they yeah. put it in the big way? <laughs> Just put a new label Kel- on Kel- it? Keller like, Rice in a... In a and abbey? then start telling the story. We took each brick! That's Keller Rice, damn it. Well, that Keller wasn't... Rice. to me. <laughs> that, wasn't something, that wasn't something Sierra Nevada did. That was something that the, that the Abbey, they moved from Belgium to... California, and because they moved to California, Sierra Nevada. Isn't that a downgrade on the Abbey? I don't know. <laughs> Is anybody uh, saying, hey? It's got a great smell. This Abbey out of California. Yeah, buy this beer. All right. It's got a great smell. Let's get it a taste, huh? All right, let's do it. It smells worthy. Mmm. Now that sounds more like uh, spicy, peppery notes. It fits mm. the profile. Reading about the saisons before I had any, mm-hmm. this is kind of what you imagine it. You know, light, mm-hmm. not too. Uh, actually, the flavor mm-hmm. is, is not similar to the nose on this one. The flavor is totally different than the nose. To me. I wouldn't say totally different. There's some, there are some things that are reminiscent in the nose. The Pepper's nose coming through for sure. The nose smells really good. Like it's got the, it's got its own, it's got a very unique smell. It smells very, very drinkable. You want to just drink this beer, and then you get into it, and it's spicy, not in a bad way. It's, it's got a sweetness to it. It's balanced, very well balanced. I don't think these are meant to be big beers. No. Um, what, what is this? Uh, I kind of prefer a little more small body on it, but I know that it's probably moving seven. on. Outside 7%. of the style, but I, I could I could enjoy this with a little more malt body. This is a great like hot beer day, you know, hot day beer. I like this beer a lot. Um, I'm gonna let it warm up, and we'll see what we think after it warms up. But I already have an idea what my rating's gonna be. I have a rate an idea. My rating will be a little lower than yours. Uh, <laughs> I agree. We'll be back. We'll be right back. We will. So we've let this warm up significantly. I think over the course of an hour and a half. Yeah. Two hours. So we're really gonna know this beer. Mm. Tell you what, I love it. it smells like a warm saison. Mm. I love the cold. I love it warm. Uh, it's a well-built beer. Um, 
I think it's I think it's fantastic. I would definitely buy it again. Highly recommend it. Um, I'm torn between A minus and A. That's that's where my mind is going. Um, but not knowing where to put it because I haven't I haven't compared a lot of saisons. I mean, I had Tank Seven. I think I give that an A minus. Again, not knowing where to put it. Um, this is right there. This is right there with it. This is right there with it, and I think uh, as much as I. Eliana, we're recording, and that was rude coming over here and talking. Go. Go out. Go out. I'm recording. Go. Noah, you need to not be harsh with her because she doesn't know, then she just takes it personally like you're hurting her feelings. No, I told her to go. Okay. Okay, honey. I think that uh, this is this is right up there with Tank 7 for me, and I gave Tank 7 an A-. minus. Uh, which might have been a little bit low. I could probably could have gone on that, knowing how good it is now in comparison to this. I think this is better than an A minus, but it, it still falls in between. Um, however, I'm going to fall to the lesser on this one, uh, just because I feel like there there could be some some better things about it. Uh, it's a great beer though. It's it's, it's definitely an A minus with a little bit extra, but not quite an A in my opinion. Okay. I'm going to dip just a smidge lower. It's hard for me to rate this because actually um, probably the best representative I've seen of a Saison yet, but I haven't had a lot, um, even though that's not the style I necessarily prefer. So I'm kind of caught in, you know, I reserve my A category kind of for things that like even an A minus I'd probably pick up again. It's not that I wouldn't pick this up. I think it's pretty good. But Saison's just not my, my deal. There's so many other beers for me that I would drink instead of that. So I'm going to go B-plus on this. It really could be an A-minus if this was a style I like. Um, it's definitely a good representative of the style. So uh, The nice thing about it, it's, it's, it's mild and balanced enough that it's something you could introduce somebody to the style with. Yeah. And you could recommend it or highly, or you could bring it as, you know, like, hey, I brought this to the party, you know, let's, let's try this. It's, yeah, yeah, this would be what I would read for so far if I want to so, show somebody what a Saison should be. So, like I said, it's 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 not a derogatory mark, but if it has to be in my category of beers that I would rate, you know, for, for its style, I would rate it much higher, probably like a 95, but for my overall, if I had a choice of any beers, it's going to be like a 76, somewhere in there. It's like, okay, but I'm, there's a lot of other beers I've drank before this. So uh, overall, I'm going to go a B plus on my side. Uh, certainly could be an A minus though. It's 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 probably A work. So. Uh, I'd like just a little bit more malt body. I'd like to get that tank seven and see what you think about that. So for me again, once I get more malt body, I'm probably going outside the style. So, but that's if I was drinking this, I'd prefer just a smidge, not a lot more, but a smidge, because it's a small beer, so it doesn't take a little as much more. Give me a little caramel malt color, good. So that's our thoughts. Good beer, give it a shot. Uh, yeah, B plus work for me. We'll be in the saison. Cheers. Cheers.